Okay, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to actually beat the fried liver attack. After e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop to c4, knight f6, uh, knight g5. I actually saw a video recently claiming that you can beat the fried liver by playing the move knight takes e4. And of course, if you just look at the computer assessment here, this is plus 3 for white, and all he has to do is find the move bishop takes f7, king e7, and then either d3 or d4 are both considered huge, huge, huge advantage white. White is up a whole piece here. You're just lost. Okay, so how do you actually beat the fried liver? Well, I was doing a little bit of research, and what I wanted to find out was what can you play that's actually fundamentally sound, but also has a ridiculously high win rate against the fried liver. And here's what I found. So, of course, you need to play the move d5, and then they're going to play e takes d5. Now, of course, the super main line here that most grandmasters play is just knight to a5. And, of course, knight takes d5 is uh, a little questionable because it allows the sacrifice knight of 7 And, you know, you're going to get attacked, and that's not very good at all. But this move knight to d4, the Fritz variation, this is actually really good, and you can see the win percentage is really high. Uh, and you can also see that the assessment isn't, like, crazy for white or anything, white's up a pawn. And then I noticed something. A lot of people, 408,000 people here, are not playing the mainline move, which is pawn to c3. Uh, they're playing this move pawn to d6 to try to uncover the attack on f7. And of course, black is winning an enormous number of games here, uh, over 80% of the games in 306,000 games. Because if you just play queen takes d6, and then knight takes f7, forking the queen and rook. You can actually win the game with queen to c6, which attacks the bishop and attacks the pawn on g2. Knight takes rook, queen takes pawn, rook f1, and now this very cutesy tactic, queen to e4. And now either they block with the queen, in which case you play knight captures queen, winning a whole queen. Or, as many of these players have done, they play the move bishop to e2, and now you can simply mate in one, which happened 44,202 times, winning 100% of the time uh, when black got to this position. And I've never seen 100% with 44,000 games, even with a mate and one on the board. So these win percentages are absolutely amazing. Uh, you can play the move knight f3 mate. And that is actually how you need to play against the fried liver. And that is actually how you can beat the fried liver using an opening that is fundamentally sound. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you learned something new about chess. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe, click on your notification icon if you want to see more videos. Thank you very much for watching.